what's going on guys welcome back to the channel i hope everybody's having a great day as you can see we're out here in the garage once again bringing you guys some more road glide content to the channel and as you guys can hear my voice uh, i've lost my voice i've been very sick for like the last week and now my voice is giving out so i apologize in advance for that but i still wanted to bring you guys content to the channel because this video is going to be a good one and i didn't want to miss out on filming it i wanted to bring you guys along with us on this journey we are taking both road glides down to Florida to get dyno tuned because there are no tuners in Michigan that I trust to tune both of these bikes on E85. As you guys know, there's not very many E85 Harley tuners out there and unfortunately there isn't many in Michigan that I trust so I'm actually driving 1500 miles one way to get my 2019 road glide tuned on E85 and also the 2022 road glide ST. We're getting ready to load both bikes up in my trailer. And we are getting ready to hit the road 1500 miles one way guys one of my buddies is hopping in the truck with me he's actually bringing his bike as well i'll show you guys that once i go pick him up so if you guys haven't already seen make sure you guys go back to the last couple of videos i have posted on the st uh we just did a stage two build on this guy here we put the cr480 mt cam in it with a manifold from fuel moto and also some 5.5 injectors so i'm really curious to see how much power this stage 2 bike makes to the tire on the dyno i think it's going to surprise a lot of you guys but anyway we got chris's bike here looking all good ready for florida all cleaned up we got the hpi two into one stainless pipe on there absolutely love that exhaust on there but yeah chris's bike's ready to load up and then over here we got my bike as you guys know, we just redid the motor. I haven't given any details on it just yet, but if you guys missed the video, make sure you guys go check out the last couple videos on my Rogue Glide. We still got the two into one jackpot RTX pipe on my bike. That could change soon. We're gonna run the bike on the dyno with this pipe, and if for some reason we're low on power or we feel like it needs a, a better exhaust, we will put a different exhaust on it once I get down there. My tuner has a couple different options in stock, so we're gonna try running it with the fuel moto exhaust first, see how she does. Enough with the talking, let's get these bikes loaded up and I'll see you guys on the road. <clears throat> well guys, we made it down to Florida, Miami, Florida to be exact. Got the truck and trailer here. And what do you know, we made it to All American Cycle here in Miami, Florida. Yes, George from All American Cycle is tuning my Rogue Glide. And uh, I know a lot of you guys are shocked about this right now, but uh, yeah, let's get the bike unloaded. And I'll show you guys around the shop and I'll explain to you guys why I drove 1,500 miles one way down to Miami, Florida from Michigan to have George from All American Cycle tune my bike on E85. But first, I want to show you guys all these bikes that he has here. There's Here's my buddy Donnie's bike. You guys have seen this bike featured on the channel before. Uh, we put the SNS 132 kit in it. He switched things up over the winter here, but there is a whole new power plant in this bike, whole new motor. And we had talked about loading all the bikes up and heading down to Florida so that George can tune these on E85. And his bike was one of them. So we got my bike, we got Chris's bike, and we now have Donnie's bike all getting tuned by George here at All American Cycle. And uh, yeah. Donnie's getting his tuned on E85 as well, so getting ready to put Donnie's in the dyno room here shortly and get started on that one. But yeah, beautiful day down here in Miami, Florida, and uh, can't wait to see what these bikes do on the dyno. All right, guys, so we just got the bikes unloaded. We got my Rogue Glide unloaded out of the trailer along with Chris's bike, and now we're getting ready to hop on the bikes, go grab some food, and then we're going to go back to the shop, All American Cycle, see George, and see the progress on Donnie's Rogue Glide. 
Um, like I mentioned, we're gonna get Donnie's done first today, and if there's time to throw mine on the dyno later, we will, but if not, we're gonna dyno mine tomorrow, and that gives me time today to put some more heat cycles on my motor and ride it around town and get some braking miles on the bike. So I'm gonna strap the GoPro to the helmet and ride along with us, go get some lunch, and go back to the shop. I know it's up there. I got the tag always covered, but it's okay. I pulled this in a little sink, but she's coming around. <clears throat> she's coming around. She's out of surgery. <laughs> she's out of surgery. Yeah, guys. Yeah, I mean, a little something, you know, not major. Nothing major. All right, guys, we just pulled up here at All American Cycle. As you can see, got a little friend here, Mr. Official Mac himself, pulled up on the Road King. Really nice bike he's got here. Badass race bike. I mean, that's Donnie's bike you hear in the background getting dyno tuned right now. Uh, my bike's going up there next. Got a couple badass road glides here. Carbon wheels, Brembo brakes. Really nice bikes, guys. <clears throat> we got Chris's Road Glide right here. Another fast stage two bike that they did. This bike was actually featured on my channel last year uh, for Daytona Bike Week. A uh, different guy owned it and it's a really fast stage two bike. But yeah, <clears throat> we're out here in sunny Florida. Beautiful day. Getting some bikes dynoed. Alright guys, here's where all the magic happens. 
here we got Donnie's Road Glide on the dyno. Putting 85 in the bike right now. And uh, we're gonna see how much horsepower she makes on 85. So here's the current horsepower on 93 pump gas, guys. All right, guys, so we're getting ready to put the Road Glide on the dyno right now and see what she does. Alright guys, so we just pulled the bike with the Arlen S air cleaner and the Fuel Moto Jackpot OG exhaust that I have on this bike. And just like I thought, we're down on power. The bike only made 151 horsepower and 149 torque. So uh, what we're going to do now is put an All American Cycle air cleaner on it, a T-Man air cleaner. And we're also going to swap out this exhaust. And I'm going to put a Thunderheader on the bike and hopefully that will uh, bring up our horsepower numbers so that this bike sits where it should be sitting for what's done to the motor. Went ahead and put the Thunderheader exhaust on the bike and also put the uh, T-Man air cleaner on the bike as you guys can see. We're going to run it again and see if we pick up any horsepower numbers with the new changes we made and we'll go from there. So we're going to let them re it with the new pipe and air cleaner and uh, see what happens. So we're still down on power pretty bad. There's definitely an issue in the motor. So what we're doing now is we're gonna uh, do a compression test on the bike and see if uh, my heads are pumping out enough compression. So. No good? 200. Not even, 195. Wow. Look at the jump box. All right guys, so we just did a compression test and it's showing 210 PSI, which is really low for these heads. So I'm not sure where the issue is, but um, we're gonna have to tear this bike down and uh, pull the heads off and see if there's any issues in there. Not a good day. All right guys, so we got the bike on the lift right now. Unfortunately, we think that the heads need to be milled more. 
There's not enough crank and compression on the heads that I put on the bike. So George is having one of his mechanics pull my heads off and we're gonna take them down to the machine shop and have them mill them. We got a wet day down here in Miami today, guys. Day two has been nothing but rain and heartache because my bike is not making the power that it should be on the dyno. All right, guys, so we got the Rogue Glide on the bench right now, all tore apart. Uh, we had to send the heads out to the machine shop to get milled because there wasn't enough cranking compression on the bike to make the power we want to make today. So George has a local machine shop, and we went and took the heads over to the machine shop so that they could get milled. So we're just waiting on those to get back now. Um, yeah, not a good day. You can see the pistons down in there. Um, <clears throat> thank God I got George from All American Cycle in my corner. He's definitely hooking it up and making it right for me. I hope that the new heads we get back from the machine shop will be enough to make the power I want to make out of the new build. So stay tuned, guys. We'll see what happens. Guys, we're getting the bike put back together now, getting the heads put back on, and then we're going to throw it back on the dyno and see how she does. All right guys, so we just got the bike put back together, uh, getting ready to put it on the dyno right now and see if we pick up any more horsepower by milling the heads a little bit more, so stay tuned.
51. Wow. Check. Gotta like that. All right, Mac, suit up. What's up, dog? You suit ready? Suit up, suit you up. Ready? We ready. <laughs> <laughs> so the bike came out good, right? Matt, I'm, I'm happy. All the guys at All American Cycle hooked me up. The bike, we had a little bit of issues. Um, the heads weren't milled right. And, you know, we, uh, thank God I'm in George's hands. And he, <laughs> he took care of me. He tore the bike down and sent the heads out to the machine shop here in Florida, a local guy. And uh, we got the heads back on the bike. We just dynoed the bike, as you guys can see. It picked up drastically. Can't wait to get it on the road and uh, do some testing so I can come back down here in March and race this guy. Hey, so am I a man of my word? That's all I want. Yes, just yes, yes. That's all. He's That's a man all of his word. word. All you guys on YouTube that, you know, talk down on him or talk about All-American Cycle, they back up everything they say, they back it up. I mean, they're not only are they fast, but the quality, the craftsmanship of their work is next level. It's A1. It's top notch. It's really hard to find a shop that does it all like George does here. On the spot. On the spot. I mean, I said in this video, I don't know if it's going to be this video or the next video, but every I've been here three days. And in the three days I've been here, there's just random people that just show up. They'll be like, hey, I need a cam. Okay, hop on the lift. We'll put a cam in it right now. And then dyno it right now, same day. Like, that shit does not happen anywhere else, guys. Like, this, this, this is why I drove 1,500 miles one way to see George meet George and his whole crew. It's not even just George. All these guys are great guys, friendly guys, and that gets you right. So he said it 152 times. I'm going to say it again. If you guys want to do anything to your Harley and get it done the right way the first time, look no further than All American Cycle. You can ship the bike down here. You can trailer it down here like I did. If you're in Florida, you better have an All American Cycle bike if you live in Florida. That's all I'm saying. That's what you got to do. Hit me on Instagram. If you're coming, I'll meet you here. The yes. real official Mac on Instagram. Come yep. down. I'll meet you. I'll show you the same hospitality I show anybody. I yep. mean, Anthony's he's my opponent, but we ain't opponents right now. No, no. We're, we're trying to make power. Hey, even though we're on the same team as far as the same tuner goes, we're still going to have it out in March, guys. Like, it's still going to go down. It's still going to be a good time. It's going to be a good race. It's going to be a good race. There's no grudge here. I mean, it's fun. It's all in fun. You know, all these guys treated me good all week, and uh, we're looking forward to March, and make sure you guys stay tuned. We're going back at it, and after those numbers, <laughs> after those numbers that you guys just saw, it's going to be a close race, so we'll see. Stay tuned. Crank that sucker up. All right, guys, so that's going to complete today's video. As you guys saw, the bike made killer numbers on the dyno. I'm very happy with it, very satisfied. Huge shout out to George at All American Cycle and all his workers that were here for me, working for me, and getting my bike A1. Uh, they did a killer job on it, and I have nothing but good things to say about George and the crew here at All American Cycle. A group of great guys. The hospitality here is next level, guys. And uh, everything Mac has said in all his videos is 100% the truth. And uh, yeah, very happy with my service here at All American Cycle. But that's going to do it for today's video, guys. I'm going to hop on the road glide, head back to the hotel, get some rest. I think we're going to head down to South Beach or something tonight. So stay tuned for the next video. We're going to do some riding vlogs and uh, yeah, get some miles on the new build. But yeah, if you like the video, make sure you hit that thumbs up button. If you're new to the channel, make sure you smash that subscribe button. I greatly appreciate all your support on the channel. All right, guys, I'll see you on the next one. Peace.